don't think anybody actually uses these anymore. Yeah, so haven't got their weights they want to use. Okay, so welcome to our um, BOF strength session. We're about to go in about a minute's time. Obviously, if you're one of our members, you just get stuck into this. Otherwise, if you're not one of our members, you do this at your own risk. You need a barbell or some weights to do this because uh, it's strength training. <laughs> um, I've got a dodgy knee, so Stuart here is going to be the BOF model this evening. Uh, and I'll talk you through it as we go through it. But uh, <laughs> just a different face to look at. Good luck. Oh, good. Okay then, just to start a warm up, just start jogging on the spot. Yeah. And then flicking the heels up. And then it's a knee raises. Evening. Just grab one of the bars. Uh, these are about ten, seven and a half to ten, so they should be about right. And then it's jumping jacks, arms up to shoulder height. Good. So, uh, welcome if you've just joined us. Uh, we've got um, Stuart here as our buff model tonight because I've done my knee in. Um, so, if it looks a bit funny, it's not, <laughs> it's not me or Jason. That's the reason why. But I'll talk you through it as we go through this one. Okay, and it's a reverse lunges, reach up high and backwards with the same arm as the same leg. So stretch it out for your hip flexors. We're going to do eight steps. So same arm, same leg, eight steps. And then squat and twist six times. Big deep squat and twist. Good. So big deep squat and twist is the next one. Squat and then twist to both sides. And then we're going to go into the press up position, step and reach. And every time you swap sides, do a press up. So step and reach. Every time you switch sides, do a press up. So when we do the step, push the hips into the floor. When we do the reach, look at the hand at the top, open up the chest and shoulders. Yeah, six times, and then back to running on the spot. That's good. Run in on the spot. And then back into heel flicks. This time all the way up. And then jumping jacks, pushing the hands up in the air this time. So shoulder press with the arms as you do your jumping jacks. Okay, this time forward lunge, twist over your front leg. So if you step on the left, twist to the left. Do eight steps. So lunge, twist over that front leg, and then step back and up. So eight times, forward lunge, twist over your front leg, come back to the middle, then stand up. So step back and stand up when you're straight, not twisting.
Good, then you do a nice wide stance, big deep squat, and reach over the top six times. This side, feet nice and wide, feet and knees aligned, force the heels into the floor to really wake up your glutes. Big deep squat. And six times, then back into the press up position. This time, drop the hips, stretch out through the summer muscles, lift the hips, stretch out through the back of the legs, then back in, press up. And again, stretch out through the abs, stretch out through the legs, press up, and repeat. Again, six times. And then back to jogging on the spot when you've done it six times. So just a few more of these warm-up moves before we, uh, we start our strength session. Hopefully you've got some weights. You're not just watching while you're having your tea. Okay, so I want you to do three squats. Face this way, turn that way. Three press-ups, three times. Let's go. Three big, deep squats. Turn the face up the way, three press ups, do this three times. Remember, still part of the warm up, so big deep reps on both. Remember, feet and knees align when we do the squats, force the heels into the floor. Get as low as your flexibility and strength will allow. So, three times through. Good. When you're doing that, just finish off these leg swings. And then just stretch out through the chest, fling the arms back, try and change the upper arm. Every time you pull the arms back. Okay, so our strength training session, this is how you're going to do combinations of moves. Okay, so the first one, you're going to do shoulder press, followed by squat and press. So elbows in, you're going to do 20 seconds of shoulder press. Okay, then 20 seconds of squats, nice and deep. And then 40 seconds of squat and press, squat and press. When you do the squat, put the bar over the shoulders so your arms aren't blown out because you've got to go through this three times. Good, so your combination is Upper body first, the smaller muscles, so shoulder press for 20 seconds, then squat for 20 seconds, and then squat and press. When you do the squat and press, it's all in one move. Squat, push at the same time. So don't squat, stand up, then press. Squat and press, so it's all in one move. Okay, so shoulder press first. You want your hands on the outside of the shoulders. So you want to move a little bit wider. And let's go. Okay, make sure the bar is nice and high, but in front of your head, not above your head. So there's no stress in your neck and it doesn't pinch your shoulders. So hands up, in front of the head, not above. Then put the bar on the shoulders to do our squats. Nice quick change. And squats change. So get as low as you can. Force the heels into the floor. And then we change again. You're going to squat and press. Bring the bar to the front first. Big deep squat and press for 40 seconds. Change. So head bar nice and high on the shoulders. Big deep squat and push. Squat, push. Really force the feet into the floor. Get as low as your flexibility will allow. Remember, keep that bar in front of the head, not above, so you don't put any stress through your neck. 20 seconds to go. Good. 
So 10 more seconds. And rest for 40 seconds. I'm going to do that again. So if you need to make any quick adjustments, anybody need any heavier weights? Get rid of all the weights. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good start. So shoulder press, squat, squat and press. Yeah, so we start with a hard one first, then the next two are harder. <laughs> yeah. Okay, shoulder press, let's go. <laughs> Never laugh at your own jokes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to. Good, squats, change. Then bar across the shoulders, just give your arms a bit of a rest. Then to sit back, drive the heels into the floor. Then we keep that chest up, look ahead, back straight. Good, squat and press, change. So again, big deep squat, hands on the outside of the shoulders with the bar. Drive the bar up as you come out of the squat, all one move. Big muscles working at the same time. Lower body, upper body. 20 seconds to go. Remember, try not to force that bar above the head. As you get tired, try and keep it up high and in front of the head. 10 seconds to go. And rest for 40 seconds. Got one more of these to do. Trousers. <laughs> Split your trousers. <laughs> that's a good workout. That's, that's when you know. The Hulk. It's the Hulk. This is wearing your golf trousers. <laughs> Straight off the golf course. <laughs> Okay, so here we go again. Pick up the bar, shoulder press first. Let's go. Right, keep the elbows in nice and tight. Drive that bar up. Force the feet into the floor. Slight bend in the knees. Work from the floor up. Good. Squats change. Bar across the shoulders. Keep the hands wide. Just give your arms and shoulders a bit of a rest before we hit them again. Remember, wherever your feet are, make sure your, your knees are aligned. Everything in line. Squat and press. Change. Okay, drive the bar up as you're coming out of the squat. So just before you come up to straight legs, drive the bar up. Squat and press. All in one move. 20 seconds to go. That's good work, good work, keep going, keep going, keep going, and rest. Great work. Take a minute. Good, so take a minute and then I'll explain our next combination of moves. So again, if you're unsure what's going on, um, I'm injured. So we've got uh, Stuart here doing his uh, boff demo, man. Doing a great job. <laughs> a sore knee. Okay, so our next two exercises are curls, bicep curls. Okay, so with this one, I want to keep the elbows in nice and tight. 
and pull the bar up. Again, it's an upper body exercise, so force the feet into the floor, slight bend in the knees, and do bicep curls. Okay, then you do reverse lunges. So stepping backwards and up. Okay, then a combination is you're going to do a lunge and then curl. Other leg, lunge and then curl. So you do curls, lunges, lunge and curl. So first one, bicep curls, keeping the arms in nice and tight. Try not to sway, elbows in tight to the body. Three, two, one, go. So all the way down, that bit's really important. All the way down, curl it up. Try and keep the hands shoulder width apart. Good, reverse lunges, change. Keep the barbell high, lift the elbows, just to give your arms a bit of a breather. If it's quick enough, you can put the bar over the back of the shoulders. Uh, here we go, lunge and curl. So barbell high, lunge, stand up, lower, curl. Lunge, stand up, lower, curl. Lunge and curl. So make sure the bar's high before you step back. So up here, then step back, then stand up, curl. It's a bit of an awkward one, so don't worry if you don't get it. Don't worry if you don't get it right first time, it's a bit awkward. Lunge and curl. 10 more seconds. And rest, good work. Okay, rest for 40 seconds and we go again. Good, so this one really blows out your arms. Okay, so if these are feeling really sore, if you need to just drop the bar while you do the reverse lunges and then pick it up again to the lunge and curl. Going again in 20 seconds. If you can, keep hold of the bar. If you need to, put the bar across the shoulders through the lunges. Remember, elbows in tight all the way down when you do the curls all the way up. Good, let's go. <coughs> again, force the feet to the floor, slight bend in the knees, strong through the middle. So really good platform to start with. Stretch, curl. Stretch, curl. Good, lunges, change. So step backwards. Yeah, try to get that rear knee nice and low to the floor. When we're doing lunges, you're going down and up. Try not to feel as going backwards and forwards. Down and up. Okay, lunge and curl. So reverse lunge, stand up, then curl. Barbell high when you do the lunge. Stand up, curl. Remember, go down and up in the lunges. If you feel as though you go backwards and forwards, it means you're stepping too far back. So step just far enough back that you go down and up. That way all the work's going through your muscles, less stress through your knees. 10 more seconds. And rest. Good work. One more of these to do. Everyone got arms like Popeye? <laughs> Olive. <laughs> Olive. <laughs> what are you looking for? <laughs> Okay, so one more of these, going in 20 seconds. Grab the curls first, force the feet to the floor, start from that good strong uh, position, and then elbows in tight. Pick up the bars, and let's go. Bicep curl. So I do this as strictly as possible, all the way down, all the way up. That's good. Veins bulging, t-shirts ripping. <laughs> Shorts ripping. <laughs> Shorts ripping. <laughs> and lunges, change. <laughs> and uh, here we go. 
relive for us, lunch and co, lunch and co. Stand the far in a high position, step back, stand up, then lower, curl. So 20 seconds to go. So reverse lunge and curl. Now we're trying to step shoulder width apart to help with your balance. And when you step, keep everything in line. Feet and knees aligned. And rest there. Great work. Well done. Good. So we've got another combination of these to do. And the words of another great comic, there's more after that. He was rubbish, wasn't he? Jimmy Cricket was awful. <laughs> so what are you talking about? Little and large rubbish. Jimmy Cricket. Little and large. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't travel well, did they, in time? <laughs> Terrible now. Nailing, nailing the zeitgeist again, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the other one? Yeah. Little and large. There's another one, similar to him, isn't there? Jim Davidson. Oh, what a legend he is. <laughs> Jim Davidson. <laughs> okay, so our next one. This time we're going to do upright rows. So this time we're hitting the back. So hands, so uh, you've got a fist distance between. Upright row, so working the back, and then a straight leg deadlift. So your legs are straight but off lock, stretch, and then pull the hips through. Okay, so you need to have a flat back, you feel the stretch through the hamstrings, and then pull the hips through as you squeeze your glutes. Okay, and then we go to a combination, you're going to do your stretch deadlift and then row. This one's two moves, so make sure you're up back straight and then row okay don't try and do this in, in the same move as you do the squat and press so straight leg deadlift and then row elbows up high on top okay just try and do the deadlift first so if you've got any problems with it i can just uh, tweak your technique okay so you want your hands close for both of these exercises so it's easier to change between the two so when we do the deadlift your legs are straight but off lock Okay, and you should feel the stretch in the hamstrings. And then as you pull the hips through, you squeeze your glutes. Okay, the most important bit is you've got a flat back when you stretch the hamstrings. If your back isn't flat and you round off, you won't stretch the hamstrings. So that's when you know it's not right, okay? So keep the back flat, pull, and then we're gonna do the row. Okay, there should be no discomfort in your lower back. It's actually good for strengthening your lower back. If it's sore at all, just give me a shout and I'll have a look at your technique. Okay, so the first one we do is rows, then the deadlift, then the deadlift, and then the row. Okay, so rows first. Three, two, one. Let's go. Elbows high, so we're in those big muscles through the back. So we do the deadlift, don't go too low to start with. Deadlift, change, the nice flat back. Just a little weight down to start with. Make sure you keep your legs straight, don't bend the knees. Legs straight and stretch through the hamstrings. And pull. So legs straight for off lock. And then change into our deadlift and then row. Straight legs or stiff legs. 20 seconds to go. Stand up, then row. This one is two moves. Just so we look after your back. That's good, Tony. Nice flat back. And rest. Just put the bars down, shake the arms out. Just when you do this again, just bring your hands in a little bit closer. 
It'll just be easier when you do this. Good. So everyone happy with that deadlift? It's really good for glutes, really good for DOMS as well, because it really isolates it. DOMS, delayed onset muscular soreness. So that achy feeling in two days' time when you're going down the stairs going, oh yeah, that was that deadlift. Thanks, <laughs> guys. Yeah, yeah. And so you sit down on the toilet, oh yeah, that was that deadlift. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> so don't know why I said toilet, I could have easily said sofa. Incoming friendly. <laughs> Good, so upright row. And then into our remaining or deadlift, stiff leg deadlift. Change. Straight legs. Now stretch those hamstrings and then pull the hips through. Squeeze the glutes as you're coming up. And it's our combination change. So it's deadlift, straight, and then pull. Deadlift, and then row. Make sure you're up straight, back straight, then pull. Good, 20 seconds to go. Ten more seconds. Big stretch through those hamstrings. Pull up and then row. And rest. Good work. That's two, isn't it? Yeah. Good. Just one more of these to do. And then there's more. Good, so going again in 20 seconds. Okay, pick up the bars. Remember, thumbs almost touching when we do these upright row first. Three, two, one, let's go. Elbows high, really pull up. That's good. Remember, force the feet into the floor, slight bend in the knees, strong through the middle. Stand up nice and tall. And deadlift, change, and then stretch, pull. Oh, sorry, it's just the stretch. Stretch, and then push the hips through. Remember, squeeze your glutes as you're coming up. And into our combination, let's change. So deadlift, up to straight, then row. Good, 20 more seconds. And rest there. Great work. Just take a minute. And we've got a couple more combinations to do. Go. <laughs> okay, so you've got three of these that you're going to do for two minutes. So I've pairs of exercises. So the first one, we're going to do squats. So you're doing squats face down the hill. Try and use your weights. You want to do five big, deep, heavy squats. Then turn the face up the slope, five press-ups. And just switch between those two exercises for two minutes. Okay, so let's go. Squats first. So big, deep squats. Bar across the shoulders, five reps. <laughs> Use the weights, use the weights. Big, deep squats, five reps, go as low as you can. And then turn the face up the hill, five big, deep press-ups. 
Okay, we're only doing five of each on a rep, so you can keep this going for two minutes. So the first couple of sets should be relatively easy, and then it'll start getting overload as you get further into it. Five big squats, five big press-ups. And I force the heels into the floor in the squats, force the hands into the floor on the press-ups. Okay, so five squats, five press-ups. people over here. In fact, there's about 12 people out here today. Five squats, five press-ups. Good work. Last 20 seconds. And again, rest for a minute. Good work, just rest for a minute. Okay, so our next pair, we're gonna do lunges and then shoulder press. So bar across the shoulders, reverse lunges, six. And then bar to the front, shoulder press, six. So again, doing the same, six of each for two minutes. Okay, the shoulder press, might become really difficult. If you can only do five, go back into the lunges. If you can only do four, go back into the lunges. Again, it's, this one starts nice and easy, and then the overload gets as we go into the further into the two minutes. So lunges first. Let's go six in total, three on each leg. Nice heavy weights. Get that rear knee all the way down to the floor. Force the front foot into the floor to stand up. Good, so shoulder press and lunges, good. That's good, rear knee nice and low to the floor. Good, one minute to go. That's good work. Remember the shoulder press is the one that will fail first. So if you need to, just drop the rep. Again, okay, with both exercises, just take your time through the moves, concentrate on really good form. That's 20 seconds. And rest there, good work. Just rest for a minute. Good, so on our next combination, you're gonna do mountain climbers, 20 in total, 10 on each leg. So when we do mountain climbers, you're moving one leg at a time. So in and back, in and back, in and back, one at a time. Good strong press up position, look forward to the hands, 
And then full sit-ups, 10. So 20 and 10. Mountain climbers and full sit-ups. So face up to here when you do the mountain climbers, it's kind of on the shoulders. And if you want to make it easier, slightly easier, face down the slope when we do the full sit-ups. Only 10 seconds. And this is it, folks. This to finish. Okay, let's go. So 10 mountain climbers, one leg at a time, in and back, in and back. Try and keep your knees close to the floor when we do this. That way your back will be flat, everything straight and in line. Good, so mountain climbers and full sit-ups. Maybe the full sit-up, dig the heels in, try not to lift the hips. So curl the back off the floor, keep the backside on the floor. Try not to lift the hips. Dig the heels in, curl up. So 20 mountain climbers, 10 full sit-ups. Good, next time 20 mountain climbers, 10 half sit. If you're still going strong at home, 20 mountain climbers, next one 10 half sits. Stuart's done a great job. Face a boff. And then we're back into mountain climbers and full sit up. Great work, last 10 seconds. And rest there, great work this evening, well done. Brilliant work, you were magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> Just take a minute and I'll take you through your stretches. Great work. Honestly, that's good. That's a tough session. Well done. Could have gone to Bucky or Park, would have been easier. <laughs> that's our other venue. It's where Jason is tonight. Insuring. Okay, so just starting with our stretches. Do your hamstring stretch first. Feet flat on the floor. Both feet flat on the floor. Sink back, then lower the chest down. So a big stretch in the back of the thighs. And standing up, change legs. Again, both feet flat on the floor, sink back, lower the chest down over that front leg, keep both feet flat on the floor so all the stretch is in your hamstrings. And standing up, do your quad stretch, grab hold of the foot, bring the knees together, push the hips through and push the foot into the hand at the same time. So push the hips through, push the foot into the hand. <laughs> Good, and change legs. Yeah, push the hips through, push the foot into the hand. Oranges, 
Okay, you want to do a glute stretch, either where you want to do it best, of uh, one foot over the other knee, hug this knee into the chest, or lie back, bring this knee into the chest, whichever way works better for you. As long as you've got a stretch on the glutes on the bent leg side. So big stretch through your glutes. You might not want to do this one, Hugh. Everything hanging out over there. <laughs> Maybe try to do that pigeon pose. <laughs> it's a family park, Hugh. It doesn't matter which way you're facing. <laughs> Good, change legs. He's got such strong buns from Boff, he's ripped his shorts. Okay, stand it up nice and tall to your chest stretch. Remember, put the hands in a small of the back, fingers pointing down, pull the shoulder blades back first, then squeeze the elbows back together behind you. So hopefully you're looking forward to a weekend. This Saturday we've got our low tide beach run. It's like a super low tide, so it should be out as far as uh, uh, West Pier. But as soon as you all come to the strength session, you're uh, probably not runners. But if you are to run it, 7 o'clock Saturday morning, it's going to be hoofing. And if you've got a dog, bring them, they love it. 7 o'clock? In the morning, yeah. It does exist on a Saturday. <laughs> but it's one of those spring tides, so it should be really low. Okay, then do your shoulder stretch. So low, lowest tide is at quarter past seven. So we could have done it earlier, but probably just me and my dog. <laughs> so it's seven o'clock and then there's a the normal sessions as well. So you could actually do the run and then come do a boff hit class straight afterwards. You could. <laughs> And relax there. Great work this evening, folks. Well done. Brilliant effort. If you can reload your bars and then take them back up to the van, that'd be great. Go work at home tonight. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, we'll see you at the next one. Or hopefully see you on Saturday if you're coming to do the uh, low-tide beach run. It's a proper boff adventure. Cheers, folks. Bye.